Welcome back, everybody. Today we have a visitor. My wife used to work a job back in the day, and her ex-co-worker and her good friend Kathy came by to visit with their daughter, Jaden. So Kathy's over there. Hi, Kathy. Hi, everyone. Hanging out and taking care of our Sadie pans. <laughs> so done a lot of stir-fry. Love doing stir-fry. Back in the day, I used to do a recipe that I called Kung Pao Cashew Chicken because I was doing a demo at Walmart, and I found the Kung Pao, the P.F. Chang's Kung Pao sauce. I really liked it. And so it's, uh, specifically, I did a video down in Roanoke, Virginia with Kung Pao Cashew Chicken. I've done a lot of versions of it, and I haven't done it because I've been on that Thai Killy, Thai Killy, Thai Chili <laughs> kick for lots of years. Thai, thai Killy, that's thai my... Uh, that's my griddle name, Ty Kelly. And um, so anyways, where am I? Oh my goodness. So today, we're getting back into the Kung Pao Cashew Chicken state of mind. And I'm going to call this one Kung Pao Cashew Chicken 3.1. Kung Pao! <laughs> Today we have the Blackstone 36 inch griddle with hood, the Ace exclusive. But come on over here to our prep table. These are the ingredients today. So I was at the grocery store, I wanted to make this fresh, light and lively. We've got a bunch of stuff, let's get right into it. When you're doing stir fry, you're turning that griddle top into a gigantic rectangular 36 inch in this uh, particular instance, whoo, uh, walk. You want a lot of heat, so typically I'm high heat, high heat, high heat. Uh, this griddle is burning super hot today. It's a very calm summer day and it produces a lot of heat, so I'm on medium. But as a rule of thumb, if you need to ask where my knob should be, what temperature should I be cooking stir fry at, you want to be as hot as possible. Let's get right into it. I'm going to start out with a little bit of sesame oil. I just like this when I'm doing different kinds of stir fry, you know, that sesame seed kind of taste. So a little bit of sesame oil. And we're going to go straight down with some chicken. It could be any kind of chicken, but this just happens to be chicken breast strips today. And, of course, they're skinless, boneless, and I've uh, diced those up into little, I guess, maybe half-inch, third-inch uh, pieces. All right, got a little bit of kosher salt. There's our kosher salt. I realize I have a very loud mouth. But the last stir-fry video I did, the griddle even <laughs> made it hard to hear my voice. So I'm going to try to talk louder today. And black pepper, not necessarily a common ingredient in stir-fry, but I just love black pepper. You know, I grew up eating uh, lots of black pepper. My dad loved pepper, so black pepper. All right, and of course, my stirring garlic paste. I love this stuff. Pretty much just garlic and olive oil. There we go. Look at that. So instant sear, instant cooking there. Show what Kathy, here, go ahead. Show Kathy. She's observing over there. I'm observing. <laughs> so Kathy just got a new griddle herself. And so we were going to cook hamburgers or hot dogs or something today. And Kim's idea was, hey, let's show her stir fry. Since, you know, uh, a lot of people just think hamburgers and hot dogs. Just let her know there's a lot of... A lot of other different things we can do, and we're all trying to eat healthier, right? I'm not a spring chicken anymore, so we'll do some stir fry. This could be this is chicken, but this could just as well be pork. It could be scallops. It could be shrimp. All right, so we're gonna shove that over here. Okay, come back over here. Uh, a little more of my sesame oil, and we are gonna go down over here with red cabbage. Of course, it could be regular cabbage, but today we're going red and uh, snow peas. Can you see right here? These are snow peas straight from the grocery store. Snow peas. All right, now I need you to back up a little bit, please. Here we go. Rice. I love this prepackaged rice that you get like this from the store. This happens to be Uncle Ben's. I love it. Love the Uncle Ben's. And uh, this is pre-cooked, so I just kind of break it up. It's jasmine rice. We make our own jasmine rice. You know, you cook it in a rice cooker or in a stock pot. But today we're just going to put the Uncle Ben's down in there like so this pre-cooked rice is so nice because you can buy them each one is like approximately you know enough for one or two people and you just uh dump it straight in there a little bit of oil you know the secret a lot of people want to know the secret to good fried rice mm -hmm. there really is no secret but it really does help if your rice 
is dry like this. You don't want to have soggy, wet rice. You know, so uh, you can probably see the rice kernels uh, jumping, by the way. Uh, I always think that's kind of funny when I'm doing a, de a demo and the rice is jumping and hitting people, knocking people's eyes. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. Ow, they go crazy. There goes another eye. <laughs> Watch out, ah! Here we go, come on over here. Hi, girls. Yeah, that's Hi, why. Jay. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jay. We're getting messy over here. Ah! Okay, so the secret, what I like to do, you just want to definitely add a little bit of oil. So a little bit of oil, butter, whatever you want, you know, into your rice, and that's going to help. It's going to give that delicious uh, restaurant fried rice flavor that you like so much. Uh, it's all about time management when you're doing... Um, stir fry you know you don't want like to end up with soggy beans uh, while your chicken is crisp and perfect so I'm always looking around and thinking okay my chicken look, look, is looking good I might need to turn it up to get it to go hotter this stuff is done I don't want it to burn I could turn those burners off so I'm constantly just looking and seeing where I'm at here but look at that beautiful color for me stir fry is all about good flavor but nice color contrast um, there we go, chicken over there. Whoa, we had an explosion. Let's get the rest of our veggies in there. So today we're gonna use carrots. I picked these up at the grocery store. It's really nice. You can actually pick up these uh, carrots. They're shredded, they're ready to go. And isn't that beautiful? Stir fry, suddenly we have a little orange in there. And the same thing with zucchini noodles. Same thing, they're spiral zucchini. And unless you have the right tool, that'd be hard to make that at home. So go ahead, just put a little spiral zucchini in there. We got a big batch of people here today, so we're gonna do a big batch of stir fry. Oh, remind me to do a vegetarian uh, corner side for Hannah, please. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we go. This will be our, I guess this will be our vegetarian section over here. Look at that beautiful color. That rice, you can actually, uh, we won't quite see it yet, but you can actually see the oil. Here we go. The oil actually gets into that rice. See that? And it just, oh man, it just starts to cook up and looks beautiful. And that's the secret. You need to have a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter in that rice. Make sure it's not soggy. You know, you don't want to have like mushy rice on the griddle top. You know, it was, I guess in pasta terms, you know, you want that al dente. Uh, if it was pasta, I don't know what they call that for rice. Here, let's use the oh, other carrot. Okay. Let's use the other carrot since we happen to have it out. We'll have the spinach later. And I forgot my onion. So here we go. Onion right down there. So onion, you could use red onion. Today I decided to just go with white onion, uh, yellow onion, or, or white onion rather, because uh, I'm using the red cabbage. So I decided to have that contrast. So let's get that onion uh, just, you know, so it's slightly cooking, so it's not raw. Take the edge off it right over here. This stuff's looking real nice right here. So 36 inch griddle, obviously, if you could do this on a 17 inch griddle, um, you know, you could just do it on a smaller scale. But 36, if you want to back up here, Kim, and show them, you know, that's enough stir fry for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, Kathy just got a 36, I believe. Oh, there we go. So, check out that chicken. Chicken's looking real nice. Caramelization on the outside, that's probably just about done. That's probably like 90% done, I would imagine. Um, just let that hang out there for now. Let's just turn that burner off. Onions looking good. You like to make those noises when you griddle, Kathy? Uh, no. <laughs> so there we go, the rice, I guarantee you that rice, oh, fork, I need to grab a fork. Why don't you just check that out on that fork? Don't double dip, All right. I, I did, I double dipped, I'm sorry. Sorry, Kathy. <laughs> I'm gonna see how the rice is going. <laughs> it's all over. Okay, that's done. So before I finish off, here, a little bit of talking oil, I almost forgot. Cashews, right? Mm, yummy. I called it Kung Fu. Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> that was the second, I'm spitting food. Spitting food. That's the second time. When I told Kathy what we were making today, I said, we're gonna make Kung Fu, and then I accidentally called it. It's Kung Pao. I almost called it Kung Fu. Oh! So, Kung Pao Cashew Chicken 3.1. I apologize. It's not Kung Pu. You All right. Kung Pao. Ooh. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. Kung Pao. <laughs> All right. Those veggies are done. Um, 
I'm gonna make sure I gotta get these going right here. Um, you know, again, I forgot about my. I, you just want a little bit of a toast on those, just to start to change color. So there we go. Tell you, a little bit of salt probably wouldn't hurt on top of those. Maybe another squirt of oil. Again, it doesn't really matter what kind of oil you use, whatever kind of coconut oil you want to use. I've got a. Uh, I think I have canola in that bottle. And then I have some sesame oil over yonder, right there. But those are cooking up real quick. Look at that, real nice. Chicken is good to go, and I've got some pans over yonder. Okay, those are good. Let's mix them in together. That look good. That's very good. Do you want a little bowl for a vegetarian tip? Um, I, I have one, I think. You could use the one, okay, so there we go. Make sure that looks good. Want to get in there for a shot of that? Yum. Okay, bring in the chicken. Kathy, normally it won't be this messy when you cook. Unless you bring me over. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab my My Kung Pao sauce, Kim. Right here? Yeah, let's see. Uh, put a little of this. It has sugar. It'll caramelize really quickly. You don't want that to burn on the griddle, so I'm just going to throw that on there. Back up. Watch out. And uh, stir this up. Thank you. All right. Kung Pao sauce. Straight in there. You got that? Look good? Yep. Okay, we'll set that down there. Show you how easy it is. Now, Kathy's probably wondering, oh my goodness, how do you clean up that unsightly mess? It looks like a terrible mess on the griddle. Um, so here we go. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to, you know, I'm kind of nervous as I do this. You know, we have kids running around, and our little Sadie is probably, you know, running around, getting into danger. So <laughs> if I seem preoccupied, it's because, you know, I don't want something to happen to Sadie. And uh, so there we go. There's our food. See those delicious zucchini noodles. Here, Hi, Piper. Oh yeah, there's, there's our, our puppy. Here, Hi, Kim. Mike. All right, so come on over. All right. Let's I'll go. dust this with a little bit of cilantro. Of course, you don't have to have cilantro, but a little bit doesn't hurt. Oh, cilantro, great. Good. Oh my, I was the hoping. More the better, right? <laughs> and then I'll just even come over here with this. Here. Okay. And we'll just put a little bit on. Here we go. You got this a little bit on top just so it looks pretty under that pretty color and there it is we'll call that kung pao cashew chicken 3.1 <laughs> we're about ready to eat so i better give it a try and then we'll end with shots of people hopefully having fun eating their stir fry all right here we go oh i got a cashew in there did i get chicken Gonna serve a big old. That's my plate. Family, <laughs> <laughs> family size platter here. Tell you what we'll do. You don't need to sit there like a pansy. You can just dump that in there. There you go. It's a big old uh, family style version here. Yum. <laughs> Here we go. So that's how to do stir fry for a gigantic group of people. Look at that. We'll call that Kung Pao Cashew Chicken. We're getting ready to serve the food up, so I figured I'd better show you how to clean up a messy, unsightly stir fry mess from the griddle top. Now, I usually don't clean my griddle top with water, but a messy, sugary stir fry mess would be the huge exception. A little bit of water straight down on the griddle top and you're just going to scrape that you see how that literally is deglazing the griddle top see that that's pulling the sugar straight off the griddle top and if your griddle is seasoned properly i'm just trying to get all those little um, pieces of uh, rice off there you should be able to just scrape that right off there into the rear grease. I'm doing this real time so you can see how easy this is. So you just want to get all that sugary mess from the Kung Pao sauce off the griddle top. I'm using teriyaki, sweet chili, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, there it is. Now I'll grab some paper towels. 
and we'll wipe it. We'll make sure we get all the food crumbs off the griddle top. And then grab your favorite cooking oil. I just happen to have the uh, canola oil outside here right now. And canola oil straight down on the griddle top. And right there, my griddle is done. I'm ready to cook another recipe or pack it away for the night. Look at that, shiny griddle top. And just about a minute and a half ago, it was an unsightly mess. Uh, she's on the porch now. Very good. Okay, so this is super okay. duper good. <laughs> Piper would like to try. Absolutely. She's like, I don't believe you. Oh yeah, she knows it is, huh? <laughs> Yummy. Chuck around. Grab a napkin. Okay, we have terrible lighting here, but we're gonna kick it off. Kick it off. No, we have terrible lighting here, but we're gonna say goodbye, everybody. Until next time, this is Todd and everybody else. We're saying praise the Lord and pass. The stir fry. The stir -fry.